Thank you. Hallelujah. If we sang song of faith more and talked less, the world will be more heavily. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Thank you. Viewers all over the world, where can we go from his presence? I know you know this is your day. Thank you, Jesus. Let's take a look from the book of John 4, verse 17. That will be our proof test. John 4, from verse 1. Therefore, when the Lord knew that the Pharisee had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John, verse 2. Though Jesus himself did not baptize but his disciples, verse 3, he left Judea and departed again in Galilee. Let's go to the proof test there, verse 17. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, you have well said, I have no husband. That is the reply Jesus gave to her. Verse 18. For you have had five husbands. This is the woman that said, I have no husband. Jesus is now saying, For you have had five husbands, and the one whom you now have is not your husband. In that you spoke truly. This is prophetic way. After she trying to say her own, Jesus is now telling her from things of the spirit now. This is prophecy. The woman said to him, Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. That is, for you to know this without I told you, wow, what a prophet. Verse 20, our fathers worship on this mountain, and you Jew say that in Jerusalem is the place where one ought to worship. It's only power of change that can do this. Power of what? Of chain from darkness to light. That is, faith is the transformative power of the universe. Faith is the transformative power of the universe. The power of change. A change from sickness to health. A change from yoke to deliverance, a change from weakness to strength, a faithless generation to a faithful generation, a change from poverty to blessing. Jesus met the Samaritan woman at the well. He mentioned that she had had five marriages. He pointed her to Fushok. In that verse, he promised that he would give her water and she would never test it again. Perhaps 
you have given a vision or dream and you never believe it. Because it overwhelmed you more than you could imagine. No matter the circumstance, no matter what happened with God, all things are possible. No matter circumstance, no matter what happened, it could be business, it could be your health. It could be your marriage. It could be your career. With Jesus in your life, you will be in a future state. As if it were already true or here. Tell your neighbor, be a tomorrow thinker. When you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, Jesus will become your coach. And when Jesus becomes your coach, you will be asked to see what is not yet seen. You will be asked to do what is not yet done. And you will be asked to say what is not yet said. When Jesus becomes your coach, you will be asked to do what is not yet done. You will be asked to say what is not yet said until you experience Jesus. There will be dissatisfaction in your life. Tell your neighbor, until you experience Jesus, there will be dissatisfaction in your life. A sense of hunger to know what life is all about. A desire to know what happened after life is over until you experience Jesus there will be dissatisfaction in your life tell your devil when Jesus become your coach you'll be asked to see what is not yet seen. You'll be asked to do what is not yet done. You'll be asked to say what is not yet said. Jesus, a problem solver, never a burden he cannot bear. When you have a shock stage, your mental and emotional resources, you can no longer rely on yourself. You simply need to trust something, someone, stronger, wiser, and smarter than yourself. Jesus, who can raise the dead, is our choice. That is why we are here today. He delivered me, 
and he can deliver you. He rescued me and he will rescue you. He will in the future stay where you are. Tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, stay where you are. Hold steadily and trust. Never a problem he cannot solve. Never a body he cannot bear. Never a sickness he cannot cure. Don't listen to the temptation to act out of character. Tell your neighbor, don't listen to the temptation to act out of character. Again? Yes, don't listen to the temptation to act out of character or react badly. To the emotional weight that you are experiencing. Thank you, thank you. You may be seated. Tell your neighbor, Jesus loved me. Just as he does any of his apostles. Again. Thank you, Jesus. Remember, don't listen to the temptation to act out of character. Your temptation talk, your situation talk, it will be telling you your prayer will not answer. There is no way. It will talk doubt, telling you unfaithfulness, condemning everything you are seeing, telling you don't pray, don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. Jesus is the answer. I said Jesus is the answer. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor, don't listen to your temptation. Don't listen to, temptation. Don't listen to the temptation. Don't to, temptation. to act yeah. out of character yeah. or react yeah. badly yeah. to the emotional weight that you are experiencing. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.
Come. 